Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. <coughs> this set says that there are four colleagues, Alam, Balram, Kori, and Daljeet. During their office lunch time, from one to two p.m., they go for a walk through two different routes. <coughs> they exit from one gate and enter from the other one. There is a straight path within the office connects gates one and two. So there are two gates, one and two. Let us say this is G one and this is G two, and it is connected by a straight path. Alam and Balram exit from gate one and enter from gate two, and again move towards gate one using the straight path. While Kori and Daljeet exit from gate two and enter from gate one, and again move towards gate two using the straight path. The routes are in a clockwise direction. That is, from gate one to gate two, a person can only walk in a clockwise direction, and similarly from gate two to gate one. So, this is clockwise direction. A person starting from gate one will go to gate two, and then return to gate one. Similarly, if a person starts from gate two, they will go in this direction, and then return in this direction towards gate two. So, this is how they keep moving. Okay, and we are given that A and B. Exit from gate one. So this is the route for A and B, and this is the route for C and D. Now it is also given that all of them walk at the same speed. It takes five minutes to walk from gate one exit to gate two entrance. So these are the gates, and it takes five minutes for this route, and six minutes to walk from gate two exit to gate one entrance. So six minutes from this gate to this gate, and Then it is given that the time taken to walk from gate one to gate two and vice versa within the office is one minute, and this route is of one minute. Each person starts the next round of walk immediately after completing the first round. So they keep on moving. Let us say a person starts from here, goes to this point, then comes to G two, and then keeps on moving. Right. So similarly, a person starting from gate one will go to gate two, and then come back to gate one, and then keep moving. So they all these employees keep moving. So here's the first question: If Alam and Kori complete the maximum possible number of equal rounds, when can be the last time when Alam starts walking? Now Alam and Kori complete the maximum possible number of equal rounds. Now how many rounds can Kori complete? Kori takes six minutes to reach from gate two to gate one, and then one minute within the office. So Kori takes a round of seven minutes, and Alam takes a round of six minutes. Now they complete the maximum possible number of equal rounds. So Kori can complete max eight rounds, and Alam can complete ten rounds. Since they are covering equal rounds, so we will count eight rounds. So this means the maximum possible number of equal round means eight rounds. And it asks that when can be the last time when Alam starts walking. So Alam has to cover eight rounds, and Alam will take six minutes to cover one round. Okay. So six into eight, that is forty-eight minutes are needed, and the lunch time is from one to two p.m. So maximum he can start at one twelve p.m. and both of them can have eight rounds complete. If both Balram and Daljeet start walking at one p.m., how many times will they meet by two p.m.? Okay, so this is uh, interesting one. It says that they both of start work, walking at one p.m. So let us draw this diagram here. So it is five minute, and then one minute, and similarly it is six minutes, and then one minute. Okay. Now they will meet either at these gates because see when they are moving in this this portion they will not meet, right? So they will meet at either at gate one or gate two or Somewhere in between these two gates, they will not meet in these regions. So let us find out when will. So they start walking at one p.m. So we have to find how many time will they meet by two p.m. Now gate one, if we see, this is B and D. So B will reach this gate at one five. Okay, then he will be here at one six. Right. So let us find out where when will uh, B be on these gates, and then similarly for D also. So one six will be here, and then 
the question asks that how many times will the meet by one? Uh, so one six he will be here. Then he will be here again at uh, five minutes later. That is eleven, twelve. So similarly, seventeen, twenty three, twenty nine, thirty five, forty one, forty seven, fifty three, and fifty nine. And he will be here at eighteen, twenty four, thirty, thirty six, forty two, forty eight, fifty four, and sixty. Now this was B. Now let us simul find the similar thing for D. So D will be at this gate at. He starts from this route, so he will be here at six. Then he will be here at this point. At seven, at gate two. Then again, he will be he will take six minutes. So seven to six thirteen. So total seven seven minute gap. Twenty, twenty seven, thirty four, forty one, forty eight, fifty five. That will be the last time he will be here. And seven fourteen, twenty one, twenty eight, thirty five, forty two, forty nine. Fifty-six. So he will stop at fifty-six because he cannot complete as a round post that. Now, if we see that the first instance when they will be together is at this point. At six minute one six, both of them will be at gate one. Okay. Now, uh, do they meet at gate one any time again? Yes, they will be both at gate one at one forty-eight also. Okay. Now, how many times do they meet at gate two? So. Uh, Uh, if we see this, is there any common number thirty-five? So these are the timings when they will meet at the gates. Now let us find out that whether can they meet somewhere in between. So once, uh, like they should meet when the gap is, like gate two. If the next minute the person is at, uh, like from B, we will have to see that. if at the same time so at the time when b is at gate 2 because b will be moving in this direction and d will be moving in this direction if b is at gate 2 and d is at gate 1 so they can meet so b at gate 2 and d at gate 1 so if any of the time matches no it does not okay yes it it is at 41 at 41 it matches now from 41 to 42 b is moving in this direction and from 41 to 42 the person is moving here right 41 to 42 uh b is going in this direction and d is coming in this direction so they will meet in between somewhere here also between the 41st and 42nd minute now let us consider the other case that uh, d is moving in d is moving from gate 1 and uh, so we have considered this like if b is moving from gate 2 to gate 1 and d is moving from gate 1 to gate 2 okay so that will be a another meeting point so that we have determined that so three instances of meeting at gates and one instance when they are meeting in between so d is moving from gate 1 to gate 2 And B is moving from gate two to gate one because when B moves from gate one to gate two, okay. So why did we consider B's movement at gate one? Because when B is moving from gate one to gate two, he will never meet B. Similarly, if D is moving from gate two to gate one, he will never meet D. But they will meet if they are moving from uh, B is D is moving from gate one and B is moving from gate two. So that will happen at uh, this between forty one and forty second minute. So they will meet in a total of. Uh, they will meet a total of four times three times at gates and one time between the gates so the answer is four if the colleagues leave at a gap of 3 minutes each in the order of balram alam kori and david so b a c d is the order and the question asks that which will be the first pair to meet at gate 2 okay so b a c d and they leave at a gap of 3 3 minutes each 
it says 3 minutes each so we will find that when will they meet so b will let us say b a c d so let's find out at gate 1 when will they start okay so gate 1 if we see b starts at uh, let us say 0 so a will the question is that which which will be the first pair to meet at gate 2 so we have to look at gate 2 so let us say b starts at time equal to 0 a starts at 3 c starts at 6 and 9 uh, d starts at 9 so gate 2 c and d will be at 6 and 9 and b will be at gate 2 in 5 minutes so b will be at 5 minutes and a will start at 3 so a will be at 8 minutes now b will take 6 minutes again to reach gate 2 because 1 minute will come here and then 5 minutes so b will be at 11 17 and so on and a will be at 14 20 and so on now c is at gate 2 at 6 so c will take 6 minutes plus 1 7 minutes so c will be here at 13 okay so they started uh, 6 uh, they started at 6 so 6 plus 1 7 minutes then 20 and then 27 and so on and d will be start at 9 so after 7 minutes at 16 he will be here and then 23 will be here now if you see the first common number that is coming is 20 so a and c will be the first person to meet at gate 2 so the answer is alam and Gori. Now same condition if the colleagues leave at a gap of 3 minutes each in the order with Balram leaving at 1 pm okay how many times will a pair of people meet at gate 1 now the question is about gate 1 how many times these people meet at gate 1 so we will follow the same process again in this question just that we have to count at gate 1 so B A C D again B starts at 1 so at 0 B will be at 1 okay this is gate 1 and a will be at 3 now c will start at, uh, at 6 and will take 6 minutes so c will be at this gate for the first time at 112 and d will be at the, this gate at 115 because we, d will start at 19 and will take 6 minutes now palram will reach this gate every 6 minutes so 6 12 18 24 30 36 42 48 54 and 60 and a will reach every 6 minutes so 9 15 21 27 33 39 45 51 57 157 that is what it means so a will be at gate 1 now if you look at c c will take 6 minutes to reach gate 1 that is 12 and now c will take 7 minutes to complete another round 1 minute from here to here and then 6 minutes back to gate 1. So 7 minutes will keep adding. So 26, 33, 40, 47, 54 and will not complete another round. D will also take 7 minutes, 22, 29, 36, 43, 50 and 57. So B and A will never meet, C and D will never meet. So it has to be one pair out of B and A meeting these people. So if we see 12, 12 is a meeting number. So one meeting. Then we have, it has to be a multiple of 3. So 33, at 33 these two will meet, 2 connections and then at 54 these two will meet. So 3 connections, right. Now let us talk about D. D will meet at 15 with A and then D will meet at 36 with again this person. Okay, And 57 also D will have a meeting. So how many numbers we have got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we will have 6 such meetings at gate 1. So the answer will be 6. So this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions. I hope you loved this set. So please don't forget to like this video.